you, if you've been wanting to get those insights, definitely you are in the right hands. And uh, joining us live in studio with us is uh, Pauline Mwangi. She's the CEO and founder of Beautiful Homes, dubbed Homes by Paula, or Paula, or Paula, I, I believe. Uh, good morning to you, uh, Pauline. Uh, good morning. Yeah, welcome to Why in the Morning. Thank you. All right, so uh, briefly tell us how you professionally like got into this space and how for how has been the journey? Um, I started my business back in 2018 as a, as a household seller. And uh, over the years, we have evolved. Uh, after COVID-2020 uh, in uh, October, that's when I shifted too much of interior. I identified, I thought I started getting attached to interior deco pieces every time. I was selling through pillow covers initially, and uh, I would find clients asking me, do you have maybe an abstract? An abstract is just a, an item that you can decorate with a TV stand, uh, gypsum. Then uh, I think out of that, I developed an interest, and I was like, I, I think I would I would focus more on interior so that I can give my clients much more of okay. the, yes. All right, so of the that's how you concept. basic. Now, pr professionally, like studying, did you like pursue a course that got you into it and it came out of passion? Um, yes, uh, I initially I was just doing it, Kinyeji style. I would go to YouTube, I find some tips, and then I would give my clients. But uh, last year, I did a master class in interior design and stylist. Okay. Yes. So this means you have a certificate from the School of YouTube or University of YouTube. Uh, you find <laughs> in Kenya, Akuna, uh, not Atasi YouTube, uh -huh. not YouTube. I did it uh, with, a, with a certain lady. She's an interior designer here in this country. So I did a course. I took a master class. For, for a month, which okay. was theory, there were practicals, so I got the real touch of everything. So okay. I feel, right now I'm a professional. Okay. I can advise, I, if professionally I can give you advice. Expertise yes, advice. Yes, I would say I'm an expert. You're an expert. Yeah. Good, now that you're an expert, like just take us through that world. How does someone uh, get into it and, you know, figure the level you're at where you're giving expertise advice? Does it entail, like, partnerships, networking with already exist existing businesses on the market? Is there, like, maybe an association or an organization for, like, interior decor designs? Just take us through a brief overview of how that happens. Um, I think the first thing is passion. Because interior, interior is not something you just run to. You have to give professional advice to your client. So first thing is passion. Passion will drive you towards even the market. The market, I think Kenya is a growing economy, especially for real estate. Right now, there are not very many people who are embracing uh, interior. But those people who understand, you're able to convince them. So there is market. The, into the real estates that are growing each day by day. Also networking, you get to a place, you talk about your business, you tell people what you do. And uh, online market, online. Personally, I have a page. I okay. maybe yeah, you can mention it, uh, the page. It I have a page, page, Beautiful Homes by Paula. But okay. initially we were running it as Paula Home Style, but okay. we moved to interior. Uh, Beautiful Homes by Paula because I felt like I did the course and now we are moving from the style. A style can be anything. Right. And right. now we are moving to just beautiful homes because right. that's what I did. I want homes to be beautiful. So okay. every time I, sell, I tell someone, go to my page, check out. You see what I've been doing, my pieces, what I've been doing. You see someone will be interested and they'll feel confident that is, this is the right person I can give this work. All right. So market online is one place where you can get your client and uh, passion. You have to be driven by passion because passion will help you identify. Whenever I find something I'm interested, I can tell hey, this piece is going to fit here because I am passionate about the whole idea right. of interior. But right. I will say I'm more of a stylist than a designer. 
or you're more for now. Like you, you style, I'm you style more, homes now. Yes, yes, I'm over. I, I do the furnishing much. All right. Although I can do the design part because I've done it. But right now, I think this is the first time I'm working on my first project. Okay. It's not yet done. Mm. But when it's done, I'll definitely post it on my Instagram page. So right. But now my interior stylist shows much on my page than okay. my design, yeah. All right. Now, uh, you mentioned for you do furniture and styling. For example, now, furnishing. Uh, furnishing. All right. If, if somebody or a client approaches you, uh, before you tell us also how do clients like get to you, uh, mm -hmm. when you enter somebody's home, are you able to notice that, you know, this is a wrong item placed in the wrong place? Like how do, how, how do you actually come up with that reality and I'll tell the person you need to lose this table, you need to lose this, you know, home, you know, dining chair and you need to replace it with this or we can twist it to a little bit stand here and then so that we can have this style because you mentioned you style. How do you do that? Uh, in, or when you do the class, there's a, a topic we do called mood, mood boards. Oh, mood boards. Yeah, mood boards. Mm -hmm. When I look at a space, I'm able to draw the space. I'm able to tell you, if I get into a space, I'll, I'll be able to tell you whether it's busy, whether this seat, you might find you have a very nice seat, but it doesn't fit the space. Because okay. maybe it's bulky, maybe, oh. the, maybe the color, maybe the space is small. So this, when you do, that's why we advise people before, when you're done with your plaster and you're supposed to engage an interior designer, okay. it saves you much. Because an interior design comes, a designer comes with a plan. Okay. They, they will draw a mood board. I come to this space, I'll observe, I'll draw, I'll be able to tell you, we are going to place this type of a seat. Okay. I, I will actually come with the real, not necessarily, you know, some of these seats you find online, they might not fit what is in the Kenyan market, okay. but we will look for something that's close, that can fit your okay. space. Uh -huh. So when I draw a mood board, I will include everything in that space. I will do the seats, I will okay. do whether there is a gypsum, whether there are windscotting, whether there is um, the, the, the table that's supposed to be there, the flowers, the TV stand, I will include everything that is needed in this, that house. And I also include your color scheme. So like for me, the, 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 what I studied is a mid-century concept, whereby we, we, we insist on, on beige colors, neutral colors. Like when you, have you ever felt every time you walk in a room that has beige color, you feel warm? I no. feel you are welcome. A beige color means they're not shouting colors. They're not shouting. Like uh, yellow. Neutral. And the rest. Or neutral. Neut yeah. Let's call them neutral. neutral beige colors. is one, cream. Okay. Every time. What's the difference now? Beige, cream. I'm confused now. <laughs> a beige is. It's okay though. Cream is just an off white, maybe. Okay. Beige is dull. But okay. it's f every uki ukiingia kwa space, iko na hizo warm colors. Uh -huh. They are called you warm feel colors. You feel yeah. like you're being hugged. Right. Like there is some peace in that space. Okay. Just get into an uh, into a house that has yellow all over. Okay. There is some like you dizziness. Have <laughs> uh, I know I it, have it's yellow. More, it's, more of, it's more of like a confident uh, <laughs> yeah, color, yeah. though. Right. But, but so like let's say dressing spaces, a person in a space is very different. Very different. Right. Very different. Spaces are supposed to feel warm. Okay. So, uh, actually, we advise clients on colors because right. you find yourself. You, you want a blue, but in the next one year, you don't want that color anymore. Uh -huh. You want to change to pink. So there is a way right. we blend those colors. You want uh -huh. pink. We'll blend it in your space, but in a way to not disrupt the warmth in that house. All so right. in, a near, mm -hmm. in a near time, you don't need to change all the sofas because they are pink. You don't right. need to do the walls again because they are pink. Right. You, we will do colors in a way, changing is even budget friendly for you when you want okay. to change to another color. Right. Uh, yes. Does this happen to like people who get into Airbnbs? Of course, it's not your house, you're there temporarily, you're getting into this house that's so colorful, maybe the walls are red, pink, mm -hmm. or they like, call them studio apartments where they're like uh, camera friendly and light friendly because of lighting and bouncing, mm -hmm. it's, it, it is. Now how can someone like navigate through that, for example? And then, and then also uh, for a client who, is, who already has a structure, mm -hmm. uh, you said you bring a structure to the client, like you have a plan, you take it to the client. Yes. Now for a client who has their own plan, mm -hmm. how do you like uh, 
margin and then get to execute finally and then bring out the amazing product finally. Uh, that's why I say we bought all, we, we listen to you first. What oh, you do you want? You listen to the client first. Yes, what do you okay. want? So you you give me your ideas. Probably you, you have that mood board. Probably you know how to make it. I'll have a look at it. Then I will incorporate your ideas into mine. Then we can change notes, exchange notes. Because you find most of these times when you give a client, they'll give you maybe those, you know, you've said someone has painted red. They have yeah. that design in their mind. That's what they love at the moment. Then you show them the concept, the mid-century concept where I've done my beige colors my neutral colors and have incorporated the pink in those in those in those in the in the design they will definitely they most of them they buy the design that right. has that doesn't have the pink walls right. that has the beige walls and we draw pieces we say in our um, in our concept we say it's a 60 30 10 60 30 10 60 30 10 where by 60 you're supposed yeah. to do neutrals in your house Neutral, neutral colors. colors. That means from the furniture to the yes. walls to the paintings and everything. Yes. Okay. For the dirty, it's the now the the pop of color, your color orange that you want. That's why we draw it, and we normally draw it on the pillow covers, on the carpet. Probably we get a carpet that has a uh, orange shade in it, not yeah. fully orange. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Yes, that's the rug. Basically, we draw those pop in places we are able to change when that orange right. gets to a point, you don't want to see it anymore. So it now comes with a cost, you know? Yes, the mood board, of course, you do the consultation, which we charge. Uh, like for you personally, how much do you charge for consultation? For me, I charge 5,000. That is just like listening, having a talk one on one. Me coming to the site. Or you visiting the site yes. and not the client like coming to your office? No, I'm not helping them when they come to my office. Oh, so Consultation you is done. Is on ground. Site. Yes. Field. Yes, you go mm -hmm. to the field. Okay. You 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 do you check out the space. You advise the client. Then, if they agree to proceed, now you do the mood board for them. Or oh, that you s they'll still have to pay even if they're not agreed to proceed. <laughs> of course, you have to do to, to But pay I'm sure for you, the you can negotiate and yeah. be like, yes, do I you know. get like people who are like, hey, a quick one, Pauline, can I blah, 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 blah. Within a short time, you realize you already gave them the consultation no. without the, 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 the payment. Uh, that was me before I did the master class. That was you before Womoke. Sick Womoke, per se. Kenyans, Kenyans can really use you not not you know i'm just saying this because the this is character a development you, know, <laughs> you visit someone's site uh -huh. with if, if you don't clearly s tell them that they are supposed to pay for the consultation okay you visit them and what happens is whenever you get to the site you see you can't tell someone now pay for the consultation okay. so what happens is they will use you you give them the concept Maybe that I yo alikuwa me back shake to more JV too. Yeah. Um one be too. Yeah. Then when you are done there, they are done with you. They disappear. So the consultation ni to get serious clients who okay. are willing to work with you. Because you can imagine you fuel your car mm -hmm. to a play um garim after you go somewhere, you do the consultation, you advise them, you leave them using your concept and they have not paid you anything. Because that's what most people do. I used to do that a lot. I have never visited sites, but clients would call me and I knew that hey peace to Tabeka Wapi. What do you think about this about this colour? Then they will go and buy somewhere else. Right. That's what most people and think. It, it, it got you exhausted and you said I must come. Do you now have like some sort of like a red card? Do you like uh, send when somebody says hi, Pauline? I want you to come and tell me A, B, C, D. Do you send them a red card? Do you have like a whole uh, package that you send them? You'll be like, for this cons consultation, I charge five thousand. To execute, I charge blah blah blah. Yes. And then finally, you have like some sort of a red card. Yes, I okay. said to them, if you're doing, you see, their clients will only want consultation, and then they'll feel your design is expensive, or maybe they will not match uh, your. The Your budget, budget yes. Right. So when you do consultation, th 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 for them you charge them consultation, which is different now from someone who wants the whole process executed or someone now who wants the design drawn to right. them, 
Yeah. You give the design and then you leave them you to execute them. They them execute it with another with professional or with themselves? Yes, with themselves. Yeah. So, so it's, it's different charges? It's different charges for each category, different charges. All right. All right, I want you to now paint for us a picture of um, how do you set up a, a deco design for an office setup, uh, different from a home setup. Like, what are, what are the striking lines in between for an office setup and a home setup? Um, that basically, like I said, it depends with the, with the, 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 the client. Because for, like I said, for what I do, the mid concept, I will always apply the badges, whether it's in an office, okay. whether it's uh, with at home for office. One thing, especially for office, we look at the light. An office must have a lot of light okay. because when you, every time you're, you're getting, okay, when you're working in a space that is full of light, there is energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, you easily don't get disrupted, be disrupted because your energy when I feel. Yeah. Is it like natural light from the window mm -hmm. or the lighting? Yeah, we like always studio. insist on, a, on, a, on, a, on an office, light. natural yeah. is best. So you should have like several windows, even yeah, for it, air, yes. aeration? Yes. You, okay. Yes, even for homes, I think light is one of the things yeah. to consider natural light. Okay. But if there is no natural light, there is a way we do the lighting. Okay. For the for the for it to match the room and for it to give the warmth. Remember, it's the warmth that you feel when you walk in a space, because okay. energy, you the energy that we transform, ama the energy that we have in, and is a result of where we are. Okay. You've never gotten into a space now, Naskia, to your dizzy. You feel exhausted. exhausted some others, others like, you're like, yes, I like yeah. this place. You, know? you you can't even explain, but you're okay. just happy in a space. Is it more mental? Is it like it's a mental thing, like you enter to a place, you see some certain people and you're like, my day is done. And then you enter some, a certain space, you're like, you want to say hi to everyone. Yes, I think it's momental. Colors, colors interfere with the way we perceive things. Mm -hmm. When you're not, like, you walk into a space and you, f you just find calmness and you yeah. you It's the energy is inviting. They, the energy, that is the right word. The energy okay. is inviting. You f this is where you belong now. Okay. And then even your ho home, I d for personally, I discovered I really get bored when mm. my space is not appealing and I yeah. don't want to go home. You've never experienced such. You, no. you don't, it's your house, but nowadays, yeah. in Akubo. I'd really like to peep through your house, you know, after we're done with the show, you'll You'll take, you'll maybe t take us, maybe show us a photo. But I'm also interested to know, even personally as a professional, what are some of the things you mentioned that you're so careful on how your house or that a ho home feels? Mm -hmm. Like for you, what are some of the red flags? Like you enter this house, you're like, nope, you need to move that. Is it like more of an OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder? Because <laughs> I, I feel like now you, <laughs> the way you've put it, you know, it, it's more serious now. You're like, nope, that, that table kick it out, mm -mm. that yeah. chair, take it out. For you, like what are some of the things that you find it's a no, like this one, no? Colors. <laughs> I would colors again. Colors again, because when I, I told if I get into a space, the rug is in blue, yeah. or it's in yellow. The seats are in blue. Mm -hmm. The curtains are in Another popping color. Uh, apple curtain, sasa. Apple <laughs> curtain, <laughs> <laughs> Another cut. Already, uh -huh. my mind is like, is space a panna? Uh -huh. Too far to change. We are okay. supposed to change the curtains. Like my teacher always say, uh, curtains are always supposed to be neutral as well. Well, they're supposed to be neutral. Yes. Is it to match the floor or the room, the chairs? It come up again. To match the floor. Color, curtains. the carpet or, or no, the chairs? No, curtains are supposed mainly to match, to at least match the chairs. The chairs. The rugs are supposed to match the tropical the covers. Floor. The covers. Or the covers. The, the co because mostly you not find a plain color rug. Mm -hmm. yeah. You find they it's have like patches red, of black blue, black, color, yellow. You know? Yes. So maybe you love yellow. So uh, your rug will have yellow in it, not fully yellow. And then your draw pillow covers will have 
those the patches of yellow in them so you see the color matching, coordination or color, color blocking so yeah. you, you find not too much yellow so haiku interfere with your mind it's not with your disturbing mind. Okay. that space is relaxed also we, we they are so you enter into a space such a huge table and the room is small mm -hmm. <laughs> you you i know you find in kenyan mm. home you find that a lot because yeah. most people love um, the center table is table. long and then the chair so yes chair. so for that mostly so that's lack we of advise like knowledge of interior design you'd yeah. you'd say that of course because kenya this it's Right now is when we are embracing the whole thing. We are okay. just discovering. So we have few experts like you. Not as many, yes. Okay. <laughs> Not That's as a win many for you. Because mm? uh -huh. there, there is no school after you can go and do interior design. Sure, there are no universities that are offering home decor and interior design no, courses. No, they are, they are, I, I have never heard of one. Okay. Yeah, that's certified by the government. I have not heard of one. Okay. Most of them, um, they are just, you walk in, it's a master class that is really, really helpful because we are learning from outside also and we are, we are trying to embrace that culture in here. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, aside from what you offer, you, you do something else and, and, and I'd love you to also talk about it apart from home decor and styling. What, what are some of other things that you are selling? Um, I, I train people. I do classes on imports. Okay. Meaning? Uh, like uh, so many people don't know how to import so many people are conned you get to Facebook someone tells you they can import for you yeah, um, like goods, yeah, you know, from China from China or Japan from no, all those really countries they sell so many things from Japan I think uh -huh. it's much of China nowadays everything okay. that we are consuming 90 percent mm -hmm. is China is not talking China uh -huh. So you people are called, you, you know, you tap a supplier, you turn again, they will pay for you. This is where now the problem is because you lose your money. So mm -hmm. people don't know, you can pay, you can get your goods, you can ship for yourself. Okay. Alibaba has that option. Mm -hmm. So you may incur the cost of shipping, shipment as well? Yes, that's your cost. Okay. It will always be your cost. So these people will tell you that I will ship for you, send me money, they are scammers. Uh, they are scammers. They will steal from you, of course. You will not see any good. Okay. You will not, most of them, there are some who are honest. They will okay. do for, uh, for you. Like but few, like why you pay someone to import for you when you can do it for yourself? Okay. You see? So there are those loopholes that people don't know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I train on how to engage suppliers, how to pay for yourself. You don't need anyone to pay for you. How okay. to track your goods, how to find an agent. Right. Yeah, because those are the, 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 that's where people don't know how, it, how you can find an agent to ship for your goods. Right. So I, that's a niche. So how thing. do you identify uh, uh, these clients to come and train with you and convince them that, you know, I'm offering this and believe me, I've done this for so and so and it worked. So trust in my service as well. I have a wide range of clients who have worked with before. Actually, they are the people I sell to items are the same people now who come back for the training. Okay. So far, the one who have trained, they are those ones who have worked with before. And you see, they are those ones, with, th with that, I'm able to, to um, I, uh, they also refer, like the classes I'm having this week, okay. most of them are referred. I just come here and tell you, by the, because people see, I import, personally, I import the decor accessories. Oh, you import them I import from China? Yes, I import from China. Okay. So they know I do import. So now if um, I tell you now, I'll teach you okay. how to do it. You would also want to come and learn and do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it gives you the credit and that um, confidence to appeal to anyone? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, um, for someone for someone who's thinking that uh, maybe uh, they'll just consult someone online and uh, they trust them and give them a call and they call them, you know, they say, ah, it's to me uh, 200K, I'll come do for you interior design. Now, how do you differentiate between a real interior, interior design, a professional one, and someone who is just scamming people around? Because, like you mentioned, uh, that course that, 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 that you studied, there are few 
institutions that offer it. That means there's an urgency. It's, it, it's, like a, a, it's like a market gap that needs to be filled or satisfied. For someone who is watching at home and they want to reach out to an interior designer professionally, how can they differentiate between a scammer and a real one? I mean, how can they go about it until they get the exact professional one who will not scam them of their money? Mm, another, the consultation will define everything. Mm -hmm. Because y you see, you work on stages. I do the consultation, I do the mood board. The mood board now will eliminate the person who knows the concept and the person who doesn't know the concept. Because if you've not been in school, you cannot be able to draw a mood board. Okay. A mood, it's a design that I have to draw it myself. And uh, you see, I will have to incorporate what you want and what I'm going to, because you, you, are coming, you are coming for me to get advice. So I will incorporate what you want and what I have in mind. So most of the mood board will eliminate someone because if I don't have a design for you, how would you know that I can execute even the design? Yeah. So it's the design that will, will impress you yes. to trust. Someone might not the have really worked on a project, but they have really nice design that they have done. Because the only thing is, when I have the design, execution is not a problem. If you approve yeah. my design, we yeah. just need to get fundies, and they will do the the other work with the supervision. All right. So the point is the mood. Board. The mood board. Yes. All right, fantastic. Now, I um, also like to know, uh, as we bring it to a close, what is the satisfying factor for you with a client? Like, when you hear a client say these words, you know you did an excellent job. Um, I get a lot of, a lot of, because, uh, like I said, more of more what I've done is stylish. The, I, when I advise clients on the pieces, most of them tell me, I got them and they are nice. I, I get a lot of good reviews all the time. All the times they tell it was nice. For me, quality is something that really matters a lot. Okay. I just don't sell an item. People who knows you will tell me. Okay. I just don't sell an item. I sell quality decor. Right. So you'll find clients will always give me review, feedback. I get that a lot. Even my Instagram has those reviews. Okay, so you share with us your Instagram me tour and, so. and yes. All right. Now, uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, cl clientele, like how is your relationship with your clients? Uh, how, d how do you maintain that trust or that constant uh, feedback or that constant relationship? Like they want, they came back, they are still coming. Mm -hmm. You did it last year with them. Uh, they love the service, they refer you. Like how do you maintain to keep that relationship? so professional and pure mm, my customer client my relationship mainly we maintain it by bringing new products because clients want good uh, for my return clients how I'm able to maintain them and I I, al I'm, I always try to be unique kind of Okay. Not, I don't say, I, I don't mean like I'm unique. Like you change to another personality and you bring something new, a surprise. Something new. Okay. Mostly, I try to change as time goes by. And also, if, if you're my client, I will always give you discount. Okay, discounts. Oh, discount so that's like an, some sort of incentive yes. to them. I, I will always, if you come back, because I have most of my clients, I've maintained clients since back then when I was selling households. I moved with them to Deca. They Till are still today. buying. To, yeah, they are still together buying together and strong. Yeah, yeah. So I, um, most of them I give them discount, free deliveries, uh, and also trying to give to give them more. Right. To bring them much more than what you, you see. I can't bring a product yeah. that I had last year and tell them right. now. You see, you are you. I want you to buy this. So I have yeah. to bring more better product because every day. <laughs> Chinese yeah. are making new things. New things. New inventions. Yeah, new day. inventions. They are modifying. Otherwise, something you bought last year has been modified to something more better. Okay. So I try as much as I can to, to bring new items in the market, okay. which costs me at times, though. How much, like, let, let's say, what is the biggest cost you've ever incurred 
on a product? Uh, like in money total? wise, mm. let me not talk about it. You can just roughly say the figure. Uh, not much, maybe, maybe a hundred. The problem is hundred thousand. Yes, the problem is you bring in a new product. Now trying to sell it now before it gets to the root, it costs you time. Okay. Before you sell it, another product has come. The yeah. Introducing so the a new product is still a challenge in the market. Okay. Yes, you might get dead dead stock out of a, of something new you are trying to introduce. I have some. Yeah, it happens to all businesses, I believe. You know. Yeah, but at times the risk might be bigger which mm -hmm. I discourage now when I'm doing the import class. Those okay. are the things I touch on for the people who are venturing into the business. I don't just teach you how to import. Mm -hmm. I teach you how to find, to look for goods, not okay. just goods, right. not something in your mind, how to identify them, how to, to study the market. Those are the things I teach on my class. I right. just don't tell you this is how you do. I take you through the process of importing. I will give you some tips. I'm, I just flow at times. Okay. I just flow. I just find myself flowing, even right. giving tips that I'm not supposed to, to give. give <laughs> for free. Yes. Okay. My, my third last, <laughs> let me call it my third last question. Okay. Uh, maybe what are some of the trends in interior design or, or home and deco? And then you'll also tell us, uh, of course, in business, there are challenges that those times, you know, the good times, hey, I have a return. I've, 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 I've recorded a huge amount of profit as well. What are some of the trying times that you had in your business? So you can start with uh, uh, what are some of the trends in uh, interior decor? Trends. Yeah, on the market or in the business in general. Mm, trends, I think, is much of the design, the find that uh, nowadays everything keeps on changing. You have this type of seat, there is a time there was just a seat. Right now there is nobody who wants just a seat. Mm -hmm. There is a new design. Like the, the only child, uh, would, it, would I call it challenge or the trend? Yeah. Yes, you have to keep on being updated with what's coming. The mm -hmm. deco pieces, that's a trend. The mm -hmm. Squeezy, we don't put teddy bears on the TV stand. Right. I'm just leave it tamba. They are Corino design, like tamba, koko TV, koko radio, koko kitty, koko We don't, do that. Kitanda, we you know, don't do that right now. Nowadays, uh -huh. you have to have the pieces in your living room. They are, they, they are very affordable. People always think that Lazima, deco pieces, they range, the price range. Utapata ya miatano, all the way up to 20,000. So up to even a hundred. Even to up to a hundred, depending. So I, I think the trend is the accessories. You nowadays you don't. Okay, tembe ako nyumba pate teddy bear. There's a. You said those are red flag. Like those are red flag. You guys, if you have a teddy bear in your house right now, you should be moving close to your TV. <laughs> yeah, you teddy bear. Get rid zimeja. of it very fast. Zimeja, sijiku, yeah. TV stand, what about in bed? There are those baby girls who have teddy bears around their bed. They've given them names. A, that's you know. a baby girl. Oh, that's baby girl. That's a baby girl. Baby girl. Oh, baby the, 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 we are, we, we, that's a bedroom. But that's a bedroom. Yes. It's different from. Sitting also in the bedroom you find nowadays we just don't do the pillows right you have to do there's so many things you do in a bed nowadays okay. exactly the pillows uh, you do a volume yeah even the color pillows. of the pillows matching with the you have with to the blend duvet. colors even the bed sheets uh, not really uh -huh. sana sana it's the space the space the yes room. if they are they blending with the space okay is the rug blending with the space Mm -hmm. The volume, the kitambo you see, we only had a bed, mm -hmm. pillows. The mattress, yeah. Uh, two duvet. pillows. Uh -huh. Now, uh, your, your bed also has to look nice. Lazima okay. weke is a volume is pillows. Designs, nini, nini. Yeah. You have to do the rug. I've seen it in hotels. You know, you enter exactly. the biggest hotel, you're like, is this a bed or is this a studio bed? Yes, you, know? you have to do the lampshades. Exactly. Mirrors. But well, anyway, yeah, it's not just it looks plants. like like a romantic setup for uh, yes, a romantic but that's scene, how it but that's how you <laughs> say it's supposed to be. Now, talk about this uh, shortly in one minute because we are exiting. Talk about uh, shortly. What is your lowest moment in business, and then where can people access you for your services and the consultations and everything? So, just one low moment shortly.
What was the most trying times in your business? Uh, the most trying times is when, I think when you don't have money to bring in stock and there's demand. Mm -hmm. Supply demand. It's supply the demand. Curve. Okay. Yeah, because deco is for few, but the few who understand it, they buy. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't have capital, people capital. asking for goods. Which is a common problem for every businessman I or think entrepreneur. It <laughs> happens to me also. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Tell us now where people can buy your services, plug in on you, find you, call your number. That's your camera. Um, I, you can find me on Facebook, Paula Homestyle. We are supposed to change to Beautiful Homes by Paula. And uh, Instagram, it's Beautiful Homes by Paula. Our email in, is interior by Paula. And you can call us via 0702-844-520. We are located at Savo Road, Kone Shopping Mall, Shop 11E. That is in Odeon, near Odeon. When you're around there, you can call us. Right. Fantastic. And thank you so much for coming through and talking about, you know, that amazing world of interior design thank and you everything for that you me. offer. You're welcome. Good luck. All the best. Thank you so much. All right, we have been talking to Pauline Mwangi. She's the CEO and founder of Beautiful Homes by Paula, or Paula, like she had mentioned. And uh, definitely you've uh, grasped some two, three hacks here and there that can help you. You know, if you want to start consultations, you've already given out her number. You can check her out, give them a call, email, etc., and get those amazing services. We take a very short break. We come back with the rest of the programming on that hashtag, Why in the Morning. Stick around.